Once you have a contract program that you and the client are happy with, you can use this as the basis for the report card. Um, in order to do that, you've in order to do that, you've just taken the program you've previously completed. Drag this section out here. If you right click on the top there, click Add Column. Go to Progress and go to Percent Complete. Keep all of those settings as default. Click Apply. And you can simply produce a report card by putting in the percentage completes. So let's put a couple in here. Okay. So let's say say that for argument's sake. That's the percentage. That's the percentage complete at this moment in time. Once you put that information in, if you right-click on the screen, go display swatches and progress lines. It will draw you the progress line based on a predetermined date. You can see that date is set in the past. So we'll, we'll assume that today's date is the 28th of October. So we're going to right-click on the line, click properties, and change that date. To suit the 28th of October. Ordinarily, you change that to today's date. And if you change the color to red, it becomes a lot more readable. So now this will give you a drop down line of exactly what tasks have been complete and what haven't. And you can save that as a PDF or print it and forward that to the client. Prior to doing that, you need to set up a border file, which is a real quick exercise. A border file is the similar sort of file you'd get with an AutoCAD drawing, where it's just it's just a pre-designed pre border around the outside of the program, and you can use that to print and then send. So once you've got your drop-down line marked like that, it's time to set up the border file.